What is chemical hazard in food? A chemical hazard in food is any substance that can cause a health problem when ingested or inhaled. They include toxins, dangerous chemicals, residue of excess chemicals used in processing food products. There are four types of chemical hazards which are naturally occurring, intentionally added, unintentionally added, and food allergens. What is naturally occurring chemical hazards? Naturally occurring can be classified into two types which are natural toxins and natural and environmental contaminants. Natural toxins can be present due to their natural chemical synthesis, which is produced by plants or animals. Examples for natural toxins are lectins in chili beans, glycoalkaloids in potatoes, oxalates in spinach, cyanogenic glycosides in fruit, and trypsin inhibitors in soybeans. Meanwhile, Natural and environmental contaminants are toxins or accumulated chemicals from environment that present in plants and animals. Specific examples of these contaminants are nitrate in leafy vegetables, heavy metals in various foods, and specific toxins in shellfish. Examples of natural contaminants are mycotoxins, which are mostly found in maize, cereals, and crops. Mycotoxin is naturally occurring substance produced by a range of filaments, fungi, or molds, which have toxic effects on humans, leading to tumor formation, cancers, and other chronic diseases. Specific examples of mycotoxins are aflatoxin, ocratoxins, petrolin, cyclopazonic acid, and xeromimol. These mycotoxins are carcinogenic. Next, examples of environmental contaminants are dioxin or polyterminated bipinous PCB, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, heavy metals, and nitrates. PCBs and dioxins are main like chemicals used by industry and their release to the environment is generally through byproducts of fire and by some manufacturing process. The highest concentrations are in safety food, such as oily fish, and main source of dietin in the diet are meat and milk. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon is a group of compounds comprising two or more these aromatic meats. A variety of toxic properties have been related to PAH exposure, including the capacity to produce genotoxic and carcinogenic effects in men. Heavy metals are those with high effect metals, such as pethylene, cadmium, arsenic, and lead. They are toxic in low amounts and can occur in a variety of food types of plant and animal origin. Nitrates was found in green leafy vegetables, spinach, and fresh lettuce. It can cause metanopnemia in infants and cancer. Nitrate is being reduced to nitrite, which then combines with hemoglobin and resulting in metanopnemia. Max is unintentionally added. Unintentionally added are chemicals that accidentally contaminate food, being pesticides, or packaging, pesticides, and veterinary residues. It can also be described as processed derived contaminants. The processed derived food are chemicals that migrate from processing and packaging material during storage or the liquid process, and has been found in a variety of foods. Examples of unintentionally added chemicals for the process to like food are the acrylamide in chips and coffee, total propanols in the products in tea bags, in cans or bottled food, 
packaging migraines such as petit pesticides and plastic. Pesticides are chemical and biological products specifically designed to control health, risk, and disease, particularly in the production of food. This includes insecticides, fungicides, herbicides, herbicides, and monoxicides. Examples of unintentionally added chemicals or pesticides are phenoxine, which is used as food fillers, benzoic acid herbicides to enzymes as plant growth hormones, urea, and chloroactinine. Regulatory residues are the use of vaccines used to treat animals waste for food. It's regulated in a similar manner to that for pesticide use in food crops. Examples are steroid, antimicrobial, painkillers, and anti inflammatory medicines. Intentionally added are chemicals added to food that are harmful beyond the acceptable limits established by the Food and Drugs Act and its regulation. For example, food additives like sodium nitrate. So today we will revisit one of the biggest scandal in China which was the milk scandal 2008. So what is melamine? Melamine is a chemical most commonly found in the form of white crystals rich in nitrogen. It is widely used in plastics, adhesives, countertops, in fabrics, and dishware. The scandal started in China where water has been added to raw milk to increase its volume. As a result of this dilution, the milk has a lower protein concentration. Thus, addition of melamine increases the nitrogen content of the milk and therefore its apparent protein content. Addition of melamine into food is not approved by the Food Standard Commission. This adamant addition of melamine will form crystals that can give rise to kidney stones. In addition to that, melamine has also been shown to have carcinogenic effects. Continuing coverage of the milk crisis in the mainland. More babies are getting sick from tainted Chinese milk powder. And as the confirmed number of sick rises, some details... That of roughly 53,000 children have been affected by drinking tainted baby formula. Over 100 are said to be in critical condition. And to date, there have been four confirmed deaths. <laughs> You must be wondering what causes her angry red rashes running up her arm and face. This is called as food allergens. What is food allergen? An allergen is any protein that is capable of producing an abnormal immune response in sensitive segments of the population. The reaction involves IgE antibodies. Symptoms of an allergic reaction can range in just a plain itchy skin rash to death. Severity of an allergic response is determined by four factors which are dosage, route of administration, frequency of exposure, and genetic factors. It generally occurs within minutes of consumption but occasionally the reaction may be delayed with symptoms appearing several hours after the initial exposure. 
Some common food that contains allergens are peanuts, milk, eggs, seafood, soy, and mustard. Sadly, there is no cure for food allergies. The only successful method for sensitive individuals to manage food allergy is to practice complete avoidance of the specific allergen. Oh, Safa, I never know eating can be that scary. <laughs> There is statistically significant evidence based on at least one study is conducted in accordance with established scientific principles that acute or chronic health effects may occur. There are four types of health hazards mutually occurring toxins, heavy metal, persistent organic polygen, and water bond disease. <laughs> What happened to her? Stomach pain? But why? Naturally occurring toxin food may look like normal food. It's hard to see that the food is contaminated or contain toxins that may harm human body. So be more mindful when picking food. Eating naturally occurring toxins will lead to many adverse health effects such as Check up now. 
It must feel terrible and sad to know out of the blue you are diagnosed with a cancer and damaged reproductive system. If you heard the word POP, what do you think of? A pop sound? Pop the fireworks? POP is more than that. It is a poison without passport. Sounds scary, isn't it? What are POPs? POP is persistent organic pollutants are toxic chemicals that adversely affect human health and the environment around the world. They are transported by wind and water. It started with just the thought of proven beneficial chemicals in pest and disease control, crop production, and industry. The same chemicals, however, have had unforeseen effects on human health and environment. The chemicals produced, for instance, in combustion, pesticide, and fogging release persistent organic pollutant. The chemicals are transported by airborne and enter the human body without them noticing. These chemicals are highly toxic and will cause adverse health effects, such as retardation in reproductive system, alteration in the immune system, and intervention with the hormones. It may also develop cancer in the person. Next, we can store chemicals in designated areas away from food ingredients, packaging, and food contact surfaces. And we can ensure restricted ingredients and additives are correctly measured, regularly re-evaluate all recipes to ensure they meet the Food and Drug Act and its regulation. Lastly, make it standard practice for staff after maintenance to properly clean and remove all chemical residues from food contact surfaces.